Hello, welcome to our accounting lesson today, where we will be discussing how to set up your accounting in Striven. Topics today will include managing your chart of accounts, managing your accounting settings, managing your GL accounts, and also class management. So with that, let's get started. Now first, let's look at the chart of accounts. The chart of accounts lists all of your GL accounts in your Striven system. To find the chart of accounts, click the Accounting tab and choose Chart of Accounts from the drop-down. The chart of accounts in Striven are organized by your balance sheet accounts followed by your profit and loss or income statement accounts. There are three columns included in the chart of accounts. One is the account name, which is a hyperlink. When clicking on the account name, you will be greeted with an activity report, which shows all the transactions that have been made on this account from the start of your Striven system to the present day. The middle account shows the type of account you're viewing. The third column is the current balance, which shows the current balance on each GL account that's listed. There is also a scale icon, which if you see that icon means that the account is reconcilable. So if I scroll over, you can see this says view reconciliations. And the second icon located on each GL account is a pencil and pad icon which means this will allow us to edit the account itself. By clicking the pencil and pad icon, a pop-up will appear in which I can edit the account details. If the account already exists, the account type will be locked, but I can deactivate it and add a new account if, ne if necessary. To change account information, I can edit the name, I can add or edit the account number, I can designate a parent account, and I can also choose whether I want to allow posting to this account or whether it is reconcilable. If the checkbox is marked on, you will see the scale on the chart of accounts as demonstrated over here on the right. I can also add a description for the account if needed. Also, by clicking set opening balance, you can set your open balance, which will create a journal entry and that will be reconciled by default. You can also search for your chart of accounts. You can search a multitude of ways, whether you want to search for an account type in particular, search by account name, and you can even include inactive accounts on your search as well. By clicking the search button, any inactive accounts will appear on your list in pink highlight as demonstrated here. If you want to reactivate the account, you can click the edit icon and choose activate in the pop-up. To add a new GL account, click the blue add GL account button. Here you can choose to add your account name, designate your account type from the listing, add an account number, and once you choose the account type, you can add a parent account as well. You can then toggle on the boxes as to whether you allow posting, whether it's reconcilable, and finally if you want to add a description. Once you choose save and close, the account will be added to your list of chart of accounts. You can also import your chart of accounts en masse by clicking the Import button. Here you have two tools to help you import your chart of accounts. The cloud icon will allow you to download a sample CSV file. By clicking on the downloaded CSV file, we will be greeted with a list of column headers in which we can fill in information. If we click the window icon, we can view the mapping for that CSV file. Here we can see the column header names, what data is needed to be filled out in each column, the maximum character length, and finally a description of information that needs to be included on the import file. Once you have your import file filled out, you can choose the Select button to select that file and click Next to begin the importing process. Once you have all your chart of accounts set up, you're then ready to set up how your accounting functions. And we can do this by going to our company settings. To get there, we'll click the company tab and choose settings from the drop-down. Once the setting page loads, you will have a number of configuration options for your accounting settings. The top two options include the fiscal year and the closing date. To change when your fiscal year begins, simply click the edit icon and choose a month from the drop-down listing. Then click update to save your changes. To set a closing date, click the calendar icon, and if you need to set a previous or future date, you can click the month and year listed, and choose a month and a year, and then click OK 
and then you can choose a date from that calendar option. Next, you can choose whether you want to enable numbering for your GL accounts. If this is toggled on, the numbering will be enabled, and if it's off, then it will not be enabled. Next, you have all your default accounts, including your accounts receivable, accounts payable, and your opening balance equity account. If you need to change any of these accounts to reflect your chart of accounts, you can simply highlight and erase and choose another account from your chart of accounts in the drop-down. Following your default accounts, you can also choose whether you want to turn on class tracking. If you want to track classes, simply toggle on the box, and then you can choose whether you want to track class at the line item level, and whether you want to require class tracking as well. Classes can represent a multitude of things, whether it's your company's divisions, locations, and a few examples of how classing can benefit your company is if you have multiple locations or divisions in which you'd like to separate funds to track the income, expenses, and or the assets, liabilities, and equities for each of those accounts. Next, you can turn on unit of measure tracking if you want to, sh to track your units of measure for your items. And then with the final checkbox, you can decide whether you want payments to be sent directly to a bank account or if they should go to an undeposited funds account where you can deposit them manually later. If you'd like them to go directly to a bank account, you can toggle the box and the undeposited funds account disappears from view. If you do not want that to happen, simply untoggle and then you can choose a to be deposited account by highlighting, erasing, and then you can choose an other asset account from your listing. All of these options, whether it's accounts receivable, accounts payable, opening balance equity, have two distinct functions. One is a type ahead. So if I wanted to search for a specific account, I can start typing, and the criteria listed will be narrowed down based on what I type in the field. Then I can choose what I want from the dropdown to allocate the account. The other option that you have with all four of these accounts is a quick add. If I hover over the field, I can choose the plus sign to quickly add a new GL account. Due to each GL account being a specific type, the type will be locked and you will not be able to change that. But all the fields are the same based on what we saw in the chart of accounts. You can fill out your name, number, choose a parent account, choose whether to not allow posting, add a description. Then you can choose save and close to save the GL account not only in your accounting settings, but also on your chart of accounts. If you're ready to save all your changes, simply click the Save button down at the bottom so that all of your configuration options can be saved in your accounting settings. If you've enabled class tracking, you can add or manage classes by choosing Classes in the Account Settings listing. This will bring you to a page in which all your classes will be listed. Here I can scroll down to see all the classes in my system. And if I need to search for a class, I can type in the name up here and choose Search. And I can also choose to include inactive classes if I need to also. To add a new class, simply click the Add Class button. Here I can designate a name, and I can even choose a parent class from the drop-down listing as well. Choose Save and Close, and the class will be listed in your list of classes, and the pop-up will disappear. If you need to edit a class, click on the class name and you'll have the same functionality as the Add Class button, except now we have a Deactivate button as well to deactivate the class. With class tracking, you can report on your financial status with reports like the Balance Sheet by Class and the P&L by Class reports, which we will be discussing in our financial reporting video. With the tools we discussed today, being the chart of accounts, your accounting settings, and class management, you can ensure that your accounting system in Striven works best for you and your company.